ways to save the earth from global warming and greenhouse effect. Good morning, everyone. My name is Kathan. My name is Anja. My name is Mirza. I'm Jason. Hello, guys. My name is Richie. Hi. I'm Daphne. My name is Chayman. My name is Justin. My name is Burley. Hello, Asta here. I'm Hi, I'm Regan. And Hello, my name is Kia. Everyone, my name is Ahmad. Hello, my name is Zyra. Hello, my name is Aliza. I'm Talitna from 7B. Hello, my name is Jaden. Everyone, my name is Aska. Hi, my name is Nima. Hello, everyone. My Asta from 7B. Hi, so I'm Kenzie from 7A. and. Nowadays, Earth is in danger. There's this pandemic going on, and now we need to like conserve uh, clean air so we don't get uh, infected. And since we're on the quarantine, I think it's important that we use this chance to prevent global warming and greenhouse effects since it's a really important issue and it's getting bigger at the second. And yeah, I think it's important that we um, use this um, chance to apply the lifestyle to our daily lives. Um, global warming will inevitably affect all of our futures. This is why all of us, yes, all 8 billion of us, should try to make a difference by doing anything that we can. The easiest way to make an impact is to reduce energy consumption. This is because most of our energy and electricity is powered by something called fossil fuels, which play a large role in the greenhouse effect and also, therefore, contribute directly to global warming. What will I do today to save the earth from global warming and greenhouse effect? Most people are actually ignorant with how many electricity they use. They can use over an average and they can use too much, so it's not really that great for us. The impact won't be that great. So we can do it by... Change a light bulb. Replacing one regular light bulb with a compact fluorescent light bulb will save 150 pounds of carbon dioxide each year. Another thing we can do is if we're not watching television and it is on, we can turn it off to help save energy. Turn on. Okay. Yeah. When you're not using your PC, always make sure to shut it down. If you're not using the light or anything that need electricity, just turn it off. My sister is in the bathroom right now, but since I don't need it, I can turn the lights off. Run. Third, turning off lights when you leave the room can reduce greenhouse emissions by 0.15% per hour. Turn off electronic devices. Simply turn off, turning off your television, DVD player, stereo, and computer, and air conditioner when you're not using them will save you thousands of pounds of carbon dioxide a year. Yeah, that's good habit to save our earth from global warming. So I will do it now. Turn off electronic device. First, um, it's a phone, a phone, like turn it off. So, yeah. I am going to uh, turn off this Nintendo Switch because it makes electricity well it uses electricity and that is not always good so i am going to turn it off and that will uh, benefit uh, everybody because uh, there is less electricity being used yes so i am going to turn off uh, the the nintendo switch with this button over here you can't see it because it's super black okay three two one boom oh wait we got power it up
Pull the plugs when not using. For example, you're charging your phone. When you're charging your phone and it's finished, of course you unplug the charger. But the only part that you don't plug most of the time is this part right here. So, you unplug this and then you turn off the power socket. Well, I'm gonna turn off the fan if I'm not using it. And if you're not using the air conditioner, you should turn it off to not waste electricity. You can turn off the AC every time you leave the room. Now this can save water and uh, it can prevent uh, pollutants like HCFC to go into the atmosphere. Uh, yeah. This saves the energy that is needed to be created in factories. When factories create this energy, they also produce gases which is harmful to the environment and they can also contribute to global warming and the greenhouse effect. Let's get out the bathroom! <laughs> Sorry about that weirdo who interrupted my video, but let's continue. Wait a minute, do you guys hear that? I think I left the faucet running. Well, that was a close one. Did you guys left your faucet running? Well, go ahead and check. Take shorter showers and use less hot water. Heating water uses more energy than cold water. Global warming is definitely more important than singing. And I also sing badly, but anyways, this prevents water scarcity and the use of harmful chemicals in the water filtering companies. Based on my observations, I realized that most people actually litter. They throw the rubbish to the ground or the place where it's not supposed to be placed. Like, they don't, they throw it everywhere. I pick up the trash on my floor. Do not litter. And I can also recycle them. By separating the non-recyclable one and the recyclable. For example, like this. There's this box and these are all the things that are recyclable. Use reusable straws. You need to use this instead of plastic straws. This is my school backpack, and I will always bring this cutlery, cutlery everywhere I go. So then I wouldn't use plastic straws or plastic spoons or plastic forks when I eat in the canteen. I have a plastic cup filled with water, and I have finished that water. Instead of throwing away the plastic cup, I reused it for planting some green beans. And if you didn't know, planting trees also helps the earth. So here I have this ice cream cup, which I already used, and I, I'm gonna use it to store water while I'm painting instead of throwing it away. If you look outside, chances are that you'll see plastic everywhere, starting from plastic bottles to plastic bags, and etc. People use plastic too much. You can start by saving the earth by reducing your use of plastic. Instead of using plastic bags, you could start by using these kind of bags and also these kind of bags. These bags are not plastic, they are eco-friendly, and they are biodegradable. If you have plastic bags at home, do not throw them away because you could actually reuse them and you could take them to the supermarket. If you want to buy something, you could just reuse the plastic bags. You should start recycling. That the three R's in your daily lifestyle. You probably know what the three R's mean. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. The smallest changes can make big changes for the world. Generating less waste products can prevent the need to produce more and more products in which pollutants that contribute to global warming are produced.
Trees absorb carbon dioxide. It will also maintain carbon dioxide and balance the atmosphere. Even though trees can balance the atmosphere, nowadays it doesn't anymore because people kill these trees for paper, toilet papers, roads, buildings, and many more. And sometimes they don't even plant them back. And then you can also plant more plants as this will release oxygen onto the air. And of course, less carbon dioxide. Plant more tree. Also, you should try to use less cars because cars have a lot of emissions and they will damage the ozone layer. Therefore, it's better for us to use public transportation such as buses and trains and stuff like that. Games instead of your phone. For the one, I'm gonna waste paper so people won't cut more trees. Save trees. You can also raise awareness to anyone around you. Here's one example. Eat the food you buy. Actually, eat all of the food you buy. Also, please buy what you need. This prevents the large chiefs of pollutants and companies that create their products. It is also sad ways if food resources are simply thrown away without being eaten. These simple things, if we do, which I've mentioned earlier, if we do that, it can give a lot of benefits in saving the earth. After all, we do want to make this world a safer and a better place for everyone, right? We all have to put in some effort. Our combined efforts will help save earth. After all, we only have one planet. Let's work hard to not ruin our only home. Encourage your friends or family to these steps. To make a big change, we must start small, but it will gradually be effective in the future. And that's how you save the Earth from global warming. Thank you!